What's going on, lads? The big cat sacked out. Clean up time. <laughs> well, I got a little bit of progress here, boys. Not much, but a little. Thinking I'd try to fill you in, see what's going on here at the at the desk. I'm working on my head. Everybody likes a little head. I got my uh, distributor and the wires. I got it all painted. I got to. Uh, I got some more detail to do before I can get the wires in there. But I got all my holes drilled. Those are, everything's ready to go on that. Uh, engine. Finally got some color to stick to it. Uh, I did it. This, this is semi gloss black. I got my pulleys on. Um, that wire was in there to keep the two holes open that I that I drilled out. I got the, the oil um, filter goes on this side and it has two oil lines. I don't know if you're aware of uh, a spinning oil filter. When I worked for the town, we had a couple of trucks that had those. It, it just, the oil goes through it and it just spins it and all the debris and everything gets thrown to the side. And when you open it up, there's like a quarter inch of, of gunk all around everything. You gotta scrape out and clean off and there, it, there's no, uh, there's no um, cartridge, filter cartridge in it. I think, I think it was called a centrifugal filter, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, I got the side panel on. The, uh, side panel on over here, side panel on over here. Um, the back piece where I got the... The, um, toothpick in is the brake. That's a brake router. For emergency brake. So I'm gonna see if I can mock something up to make it look like... To make it look like uh, one, I got a picture of it. I got a picture of it right here. See how it is on the back there? So, I gotta see if I can somehow elongate the handle. Figure something out and get it uh, mounted on the side of the tranny. I gotta cut the, <coughs> I'll have to cut the floor pan out. So we'll see. We'll see how hard it's gonna be. I'm just more concerned with that. Trying to cut this plastic, you know, it's it's so thick. So that's that's the thing I'm gonna have a hard time with. About. And then um, did my uh, I sweeved my drive shaft. I sweeved it with a, a piece of uh, aluminum tubing. And then I am going to do the same to the uh, motor end. I got a little piece of tubing I got to cut for that. And then this, this actually is made to slide in here. I don't know if I can get it in. Yep, there we go. That's made to slide in and out. This actually will slide in and out. So I can put my uh, rear end in before I paint the chassis, I'll tape off the, uh, I'll, I'll take the uh, tubing off and then uh, I can uh, put it on the chassis and paint it all as one unit instead of having to paint it and then put it on so, and then you can put the motor in too because I can put that end piece in any time I want. There's enough room in there that I can put it in any time I want, so that's why I, I try to make my drive shafts like that, so I can, uh, yeah, you can, uh, they'll slide, they telescope, I try to make them the telescope, just for that reason, so I can put my rear end in, in the chassis, and paint that all up at the same time, so that's why I do that, that's why I do it that way. Um, I got my front end steering here. Again, I sweep the tie rod with a, a piece of aluminum, but uh, I got up these uh, ends here. 
the ends of the um, yeah, why am I doing that? The ends of the tie rod are way too thick. You see how thick those are? Well, I got a, I got a lot to cut off. I'm gonna take my razor saw and I gotta thin those down so that I can uh, heat swage the uh, pins. Some of you younger guys aren't familiar with that term. A lot of the old models, front ends would would um, would steer, but you had a call what was a heat swage, which you took your uh, you took your exacto knife or an old one, and you heated the shit out of the end of it until it got red hot, and then you mushroomed that pin over. And you had to be careful that you didn't mushroom it too much or it wouldn't steer. But it was called a heat swage. Well, that's what I got to uh, was referred to when I was back in the day with me. So, but I got that though. That's done. Um, I got a, I got my generator pulley on, and I went to put it in last night. But I uh, see the green putty. I I drilled the hole in the wrong place, and then I drilled the hole. I drilled the hole in the motor, and I had to I had to uh, fill that. So and I'm gonna have to. I had to, it's gonna be drilled up higher. I put it too low, like an idiot. And then I put the hole in the I put the hole in the generator in the wrong place. But at least I got everything. The paint's sticking. That's that's a good thing. I just. I'm going to prime it, going to prime everything, i got to prime everything. And then I'm, I just did this for shits and giggles, that's the Molotov, uh, Molotov, Molotov, whatever you want to call it, the chrome pen. But uh, I'm thinking of, I might go a different direction with the rims. So... But uh, my color scheme, I haven't, I'm still up in the air. Maybe I might do something like that with the, the black and the green. Or I'm thinking of maybe going with a dark green. A Kel like a Kelly green. I got a can of it over here, I don't know, we'll see. But that's all, that's where I am boys. Beautiful day up here, I'm going out on the bike. Nice and sunny, about 75, no humidity. I gotta go over uh, Ace Hardware and get some solder. So I can do my uh, exhaust like uh, like uh, you experts are doing. That was a good idea, whoever come up with it, damn it. But uh, yep, I gotta, I'm gonna get a can of, I'm buying a can of red paint, Fred, your honor. My next car is gonna be red. I don't think I ever done a red one. Oh no way, when I did, but like a, two years ago, I did one for a buddy of mine. A red, uh, what the hell was that? A red, a red Plymouth. Like it was an old Plymouth, like a '71, '72, something like that. He had one when he was younger. So I built him one, and uh, that, that was the last red one. So, right, we'll get it, though, boys. We'll get it. Look, see, nice and serene. Don't let that kid you. She chomped me good yesterday, the little shit. They made me bleed. I was patting her. She come over and I started patting her behind the ears. And the next thing I know, I got uh, I got claws and teeth. See, she got me right. Can you see that little thing right on my tooth on my skeleton? And then she got me right there, too. And did I bleed? Holy Christ, did I bleed. It's so bad. I, I took a picture of it and sent it to the wife. The wife thought I got mauled by a bobcat. You little shit. Say goodbye, Biscuits. <laughs> Perfect timing. All right, boys. Enjoy your day, guys. Peace out.